Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Ham Radio K0PIR and my YouTube channel. Well, HRD finally did it. They included QSO forwarding in their logbook, so we don't need JT Alert anymore. However, I still like JT Alert. It's pretty neat, but if you don't want to use that extra program, I'll show you a great way to get WSJTX logging into HRD logbook. There you go. Okay, well, if you haven't already, you want to download the latest version of HRD and Ham Radio Deluxe, and it will include uh, QSO forwarding in the logbook. So what I've got here is HRD rig control, and uh, let me show you what it looks like. I'm using the ICOM 7610, and I am using Ham Radio Deluxe as the rig in WSJTX, and I'll show you that later. But anyway, I go ahead and uh, connect uh, the rig control, HRD rig control, and I bring up my logbook, and there it is. Where we go is under tools and configure and you'll see a new setting down here. QSO forwarding. Select that and have a look. On my website I've got some pictures posted. Screenshots that you can take a look at. But uh, anyway we want to enable UDP receive. I have these first two ticked off. And then this one, Receive QSO Notifications Using UDP. The default port or the default port from WSJTX is 2333. My target database, is, this is my default database for HRD Logbook. You can see I've got another one in there too. But that's the one that I use my master. And then the my station fields I have merged in there and I'll show you why I have that selected. So that's all there is to uh, setting up HRD logbook. Now in uh, WSJTX let's go over to file and settings and uh, we'll take a look at all the tabs. The general tab you can see what I have selected in here and uh, one thing that's important for me is to double click on the call and sets transmit enabled then let's go over to the radio tab and i am using ham radio deluxe right now i have an article on my website and it, it shows how you can use the radio as the rig and then the proper uh, serial port parameters and when you do it that way, you just don't start uh, Ham Radio Deluxe Rig Control. You just open up the logbook. And it does work that way. It works fine. But uh, this is the way I'm using it right now. And you can see uh, what I have in my settings over here. I'm using Fake It for Split Operation right now. And uh, I was using Rig, and I think it was working just fine. But Fake It, I, I just know from past experience... Uh, creates uh, less trouble for me and I'll show you what I mean later but anyway let's go over to the audio tab and the input and the output uh, for the 7610 and the 7300 radios uh, it's going to be the USB audio codec if you're using a different radio uh, just set it up appropriately the, uh, the next important tab is of course the reporting tab and uh, I have a prompt me to log the QSO enabled uh, under network services, I have enabled PSK reporter uh, spotting, and uh, I find that helpful, at least for others, uh, that will be uh, looking for me or looking to see what propagation is like. Then under the UDP server, I have these enabled, and uh, that was for uh, another program. Uh, N1MM Logger Plus in broadcast, we have this enabled now and uh, the default in there and then the default port number the 2333 that's what we put in hrd logbook and then under frequencies nothing in there has changed or colors nothing in there advanced 
uh, nothing there has changed I'm just showing you what I have set but if we go back to the radio I can hit the uh, test cat and I'm using ham radio deluxe as a rig so it's working I hit test push to talk and it, it works I can go ahead and select OK now uh, using ham radio deluxe for rig control if I bring up the rig control program one thing that I've noticed is um, that sometimes my mode uh, is is either off or uh, the data is either off sometimes uh, the mode is set to lower sideband and uh, data is set to off so I have to uh, be aware of that and make sure that these settings are right make sure that it's right on the radio so that's the way that I have the software set up and it's been logging uh, really well uh, I haven't had any hangups or anything uh, the only uh, little issue I had is uh, as I mentioned uh, sometimes the mode or the data is not uh, set correctly uh, and um, I want to make sure that uh, everything uh, on HRD rig control uh, is synced with the radio so uh, you know other than that I've been uh, making contacts and having a good time with it uh, it's been logging it and it uh, brings in the person's name and their QTH so that's really nice the uh, the mode the sent and received the band uh, everything uh, everything comes in real nice and when I go to my station it uh, puts in my station information okay and it puts the power you can see uh, I'm on 40 meters and I was running 60 watts uh, I don't have a really good 40 meter antenna it's a good antenna it's just not up high enough so uh, let me uh, let me get to work here I'll, I'll make some contacts with you let's try five station somebody down there in Texas maybe Texas Oklahoma Arkansas Louisiana Mississippi or yeah somebody down in there I usually have pretty good propagation to the south there we go so he's giving me a minus 13 I'm sending back a minus 20 then I'll show you how this logs Oh, he didn't come back to me. Well, it looks like he did. Maybe I just didn't decode him. Sometimes that happens. It's just uh, poor propagation. Somebody else gets in there. Could be a number of things. Let's see if I can get him logged. there we go okay so I have my power in there and I am running 60 watts and I don't need anything else I've got this uh, retained here the comments it just reminds me of what I'm uh, using I'm gonna click OK and you'll see it logs in the HRD logbook automatically it only takes a few seconds and then when I select this I double click on it and look under my station it puts in all my information in there and then puts the correct power in there one problem I was having is if you look at some of these down here the names in there twice and that came from uh, how I look up the call sign the call sign look up I had uh, I think the call uh, uh, the, the call look info uh, set at the top and now I have qrz.com subscription set at the top so if you're or maybe maybe I was using this one at the top I don't remember uh, but it, when I moved and put the qrz.com subscription at the top I don't get the doubling of the name let me show you what it looks like see I was getting the name in there twice the first name in there twice and I don't know why but anyway, fixing that or changing that 
the uh, call sign lookup, changing that to my QRZ.com subscription fixed it. So you might have to use something else if you don't have a subscription. You try HamQTH. Uh, but that's what fixed it for me. And boy, it's been working good. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. I got somebody else calling me. Uh, and uh, uh, give them a try here. I wasn't paying attention. Let's see if uh, I can make a contact with him. W9MDB. Okay, I got a, another QSO here. He sent me a minus eight. I sent him a plus two. And we'll get him logged and we'll see what that looks like again. Okay, so when I send the 73, this prompts me to log the QSO, and I can just click OK. And there we go. And that's Mike, and he's in Illinois. Alrighty, good deal. Well, I appreciate you watching my videos and visiting my website. It's www.k0pir.us. I have lots of articles on the ICOM 7610 and the ICOM 7300. I'm also making some uh, videos and I'll be doing some more articles on the Elecraft KX2. So if you're interested in those radios or ham radio software like this kind of stuff here, please visit my website. Uh, I hope it helps. And if you have any questions or comments, just make them below. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. And tell your friends. 73 and good DX. Oh.